It is great to be in Atlanta for ASH to discuss about latest developments in the genomics of AML. And this is really important because um, over the last decades, the implementation of cytogenetic abnormalities to understand a patient's risk and support clinical decisions in, with regards to chemotherapy or potentially transplantation have played a fundamental role in helping us delivering patient-tailored clinical decisions and improved clinical outcomes in AML. However, there have been really two problems with these. The one is that for half of AML patients, we really don't have the markers to help us um, evaluate a patient's risk and their likely clinical trajectory. And on the other hand, we may have patients that have the exact same two molecular profiles or clinical profiles, but they may have completely different responses. So in the last years, we've really seen an exponential growth in our understanding of the genomic underpinnings in AML. We very much now have the blueprint of not only which mutations are relevant, but how they come together and how they define distinct molecular subgroups in AML. So now rather than treat AML patients as a whole, we have higher resolution to identify biological and clinical subgroups in which a patient belongs to. And by understanding the biology, there's a real potential now to perform patient-relevant research into both the biology of the disease and new treatments. But before even we do that, by understanding the clinical correlations with those biological groups, the risk profiles, the likely response to therapy, um, really helps us stratify patients into most appropriate treatment decisions or guide the development of combination therapy trials in the future.